This free flight training tip is brought to you by ForeFlight, the leading producer of aviation apps for the iPhone and the iPad. Check them out at ForeFlight.com. Here we're looking at an E6B flight computer and preparing to work on calculating density altitude. Notice on the upper right corner of the E6B, you'll see the black pointer window for density altitude. You'll remember that to calculate density altitude, you must first know your pressure altitude and your outside air temperature. Start by finding pressure altitude, which is what your altimeter reads when the Colesman window is set to 2.9 or 0.9 or 2. You'll take that pressure altitude and set it opposite the outside air temperature. But use caution. The temperature numbers decrease to the right and increase to the left, which can be very confusing if you're not careful. Once those are set up, you'll read the resulting density altitude right here in the black pointer area. So let's try an example. Let's imagine that your pressure altitude is 5,000 feet and the outside air temperature is about 32 degrees. You'll set the 5,000 here opposite 32 degrees, and there will be some approximating when using the E6B, but you'll read the resulting density altitude here at just over 8,000 feet.